out here at the usual spot. I was gonna go somewhere different, but it's pretty windy right now. We got these Santa Ana winds coming in pretty, pretty crazy right now. So don't wanna go somewhere else because I know it's gonna be kind of choppy and stuff. So yeah, we're here at the usual spot. Pretty sunny, got out here a little bit later than usual. Kind of wanted to sleep in, you know, sometimes you need that. So we're gonna hit the surf and we're gonna hit up the jetty and see what happens. Yeah, pretty pumped to be out here. Got some other pretty cool, exciting news that I'll talk about a little bit later. But yeah, uh, we're looking at about a foot tide right now and uh, it's gonna be coming in pretty soon. The inlet looks pretty calm, so we'll fish that in a little bit. We'll just cast out here for a little bit more. And uh, yeah, man, super pumped. Got the Cardinal Points hoodies on deck. Anybody that wants to get one, got other designs. So yeah, man, let's get right to it. See what happens. Yoo-hoo! Just hit slack tide right now so the tide is coming up right now and this whole front area is a small or it's a pretty long stretch of a, the front trough so i want to see if any halibut are hanging up here in the front So we got a, well, we have the Santa Ana winds right now. There's a lot of wind, but not as bad as it was yesterday. Yesterday was pretty bad. So what I'm doing is I'm casting to the left and to the right of me into the front trough. And, uh, if there's anything hanging out here in the front. So I cast more straightforward, it's just sandbar and uh, right here's gonna be a good, well, right here's a good spot. Just fan casting. Uh, pretty much doing a 180 degree angle, trying to clear as much area as possible. Right here in the front, but I think it's too windy, so I I can't really feel the lucky craft as much. And I do, like I said, I have a light setup. I got this uh, the 1003. So, so the wind is just blowing on the line, and it feels like I don't even have anything on there. So I got some, got some big news. Pretty cool and exciting news, guys. Uh, I ended up buying a boat. Yep. I got a screaming deal for it, so I couldn't pass it up. And, uh, yeah, I got myself a, a little nice Boston Whaler, man. I'm super freaking pumped on that boat, man. That thing is nice. It is nothing nothing too big nothing too crazy it's the 11 foot 4 model 
so I want to get experience with a boat first before I go ahead and get something bigger so yeah I couldn't pass it up it was just too too good of a deal and uh yeah I was gonna actually take it out today and do some fishing on it but with these winds it's super choppy out there but even then those boats are the unsinkable the Boston whalers yep and so I love that thing got a I gotta set it up all nice and stuff get it ready for the fishing took it out once already that thing handled like a boss and yeah we're gonna we're gonna be doing a lot of more fishing out in the open water I took it out here like I said last oh whoa I just had something smack it so I took it out we were just cruising and stuff down in the open water and we saw a big old marlin just jump out of the water that thing was huge we were out by some reefs and stuff and uh, I don't want to get any closer because I don't want to take a chance you know big old marlin smashes me on the boat no way I'm good but uh, that was a sick sight to see. First time for me, for sure. We're gonna go hit up the inlet because it's not too windy right here. The water's so clear. There's like no current. Wow. Wow, that looks beautiful. Heck, yeah. There's bait fish here, so that means that there's halibut. Like I said, I'll retrieve it, then drop. Retrieve it, and drop. And give it a little bit of a jigs. So I remember catching a calico here a while back. Little bait fish jumping right there. See, let it drop. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. 
dude. Oh, bro. Oh my God, that's a big halibut. Oh my goodness. Dude. Oh my God, bro. No, don't jump off. Don't jump off. Don't jump off. Oh. What? Dude, I freaking had him. Oh my gosh. <sighs> oh, dude. No freaking way. I was trying so hard not to have him head, shake his head. Dude, that was a legal halibut. Bro. Oh my gosh. Dang it, dude. I knew he was gonna hit, dude. As soon as I let that thing drop down there, damn. Well. I guess we're gonna have to keep trying. Dude. He's right there, man. Bro. Oh my gosh, dude. I should have brought him to the rocks over here. I don't know why I didn't do that. It's already getting hit again. Dude. My goodness <sighs> well the bite was on for a cool minute got this Kitex shiner on dude that's just the secret you just retrieve and you just let her drop we're just gonna have to keep on trying dude They're all stacked out right there on the bottom, man. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, you guys, good morning. It's day number two of uh, trying to redeem myself for losing this halibut. Uh, yeah, man, I already see some peeps in the water. It's pretty early. We got a three foot tide right now, so we have uh, outgoing tide, so low tide. I think by like 10-ish, we're gonna be at about a foot tide, which is a great tide. So, yeah. We'll see what happens. Hopefully the tide isn't ripping through the inlet. But, yeah, yesterday that thing was super nice. Still in disbelief of losing my a halibut but oh well we're gonna just fish the jetty right now for a little bit if not put on the waders and hit up the surf 
I was gonna bring the boat out today, but I'm having an idle issue, so I had to see what's up with it. It'll turn on, but it'll die. I don't know. I'll see what's up. Up we go. I'm throwing it. Crap going down this. Oh, damn, it's cold. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna die too early over here right now. I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, I think I might have to go put my waders on because the water's just ripping too fast. I don't even know where it's landing to tell you the truth. Oh, there it is, I see it. Yeah, this ain't gonna, this ain't gonna work. Yep, no way. Let's go see. Honestly, this is like a perfect hole right now. I might go back and put my waders on. He's got a little morning walk in so far. And I need my boots because I feel like I can't really walk with these shoes. Should have done it in the first place. Don't ever second guess yourself. Follow your gut instincts. And I'll set up the other rod. We'll have two rods. All right, see you guys right now. Oh, shoot. Yeah, see, so I like casting to the sides right here. That way it reaches the edges of the trough. That's where the halibut like to hang out at, because that's where usually all the bait fish hang out. Just launch it out there. Nice, nice little jerks. Slowly retrieve it.
you wouldn't believe it, but sometimes the halibut are just right in front of you. It's just casting that lure right in front of them and, and they'll hit. Try to let it sink just a little bit. Bring it close to the bottom. Retrieve. All right, hey, come on. Get some bites in. Oh my gosh, dude, there's a halibut over there. I just saw a bunch of those fish jump right here. I'm gonna cast it over there. Oh, look at it. See? Look at it. Oh my gosh. Look at it. You see all those bait fish right there? Something's chasing it. Oh my God. Right now, I'm, I'm in competition with those bait fish. Oh, my God. feeding time right now, so. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Dude, that's a halibut. That's a halibut. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, he came up for it. Oh my God. Oh my god, dude! Dude! <laughs> Come on! No! Oh my gosh, dude! That's a big halibut! It's a big halibut! Big halibut! Big halibut! Come on, bring it in! Bring it in! No! Dude! That's a big halibut! That's a big halibut! He's taking drag! Oh my gosh! Dude, that's a big halibut. Come on, baby. Come on, that's a big wave. It's a big wave. Come on. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah! Oh my god, dude. What the heck? What the heck? <laughs> Yo! Oh my god. Dude. Halibut. Oh my god. Dude. 
I'm like shaking right now. Oh my god. I have to forget. It's a nice high halibut. We're gonna measure them. God darn it. Oh my god. Oh, I'm like shaking, dude. I knew as soon as I saw those bait fish that he was gonna be there. But I gotta take my GoPro. Bro. All right, I gotta get my measuring tape. That's legal. That's for sure illegal. That's for sure illegal. All right, hold on, you guys. I'm trying to compose myself right now. I'm trying to get my measuring tape, but where the heck is it? Dude, where the, oh, there it is. All right. Oh my God, dude. He's got that lucky craft in his mouth, so. I don't wanna get snagged by that thing. Ugh. You get that thing in your hand. Oh yeah. He was not gonna go anywhere, man. You know what? I'm weigh him because I'm a measure him. Ah, dude. From the mouth. Dude. <laughs> That's 25 and a quarter. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, oh my god, dude, what the heck, I had a feeling too, oh yeah, let's go, baby, all right, I was not expecting him to hit, but he came all the way up to shore for that thing. He came up all the way to shore to hit that thing. I don't want him to start thrashing everywhere. And he freaking start thrashing and then he freaking gets that hook on me. It's not gonna be good. Unless we got that one up. Oh heck yeah, he was he was hooked in the mouth. He was hooked in the mouth. He was not gonna go anywhere. Yeah! Look at that, fellas. 25 and a quarter halibut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna beat this guy out. And we're good. Oh, dude. Super stoked. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna dispatch him and then we're gonna take him home. Yeah. All right, you guys. Whew, super stoked. Lost that halibut yesterday. Came back for, for redemption today. Caught that legal. Dude, I'm so freaking pumped. So we're gonna go back home, flay them, see what we can cook up with it. 
maybe make some uh, halibut burgers. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So, yeah, man. I did not even know that he hit until I noticed. And so, whew, man, that was that was fun. That was super duper fun. Halibut season in full effect, man. So, yeah, man. Yeah, that's how you know it. <laughs> All right, you guys. So we're back at home. We're gonna fillet that fish and we're going to make halibut burgers because I've been craving a fish burger for a while. So there's nothing better than making it with a halibut burger. So yeah, let's get to filleting. All right, you guys. So go ahead and uh, start filleting. Put a couple of paper towels right here because I have them in, in salt water. So I don't want to keep them in fresh water because you know makes the, the quality of the, the meat go pretty bad. Slippery. Alright. I'm just gonna throw him on there. He's a big boy. We're gonna clean off the slime, all that good stuff. The mucus membrane, pat it down. Get rid of all that slime as much as you can. Whoa. And he is slippery. Now that we have that, I'm gonna decide. I'm gonna start with the white side first, just because it's a little bit thinner. So we'll go ahead and start cutting right here. At the tail. Hope you guys can see that right here. Cut. Last but not least, the cheek. Look at that cheek. Look at that cheek right there. Oh yeah. It's the other little cheek right here. He wasn't so cheeky. <laughs> oh yeah. That's how it looks. You can see right through it. Throw this guy away. That beautiful fillet right there. Oh yeah, that's gonna be amazing. Look at that beautiful meat. Oh my god, look at how thick it is. Oh yeah. Jesus, it's a lot of meat. Bam. Yeah. Let's make some fish burgers. All right, we're gonna make a panko crusted halibut burger. Got some all purpose flour, some panko, and we got our halibut. It's in the fridge, so we're gonna make some fries also. We're gonna start off with our fries. Nice and thick. 
That's how we like them. Some, some black pepper, some garlic salt, now then we're going to get our all purpose flour, squeeze that in there, and our panko. I'm gonna put some garlic salt on this paint on the flour and a little bit of black pepper in there. Some nice seasoning for the panko. Look at that man. Beautiful. A little bit of butter and then oil. Now, get the fish. There we go. Nicely coated. So, the egg wash. Don't be scared. Get that in there nice. Just like that. We're just gonna put it in there. on there. Throw some olive oil around that. Get that nice and golden brown. We have this on low heat, We're waiting for our potatoes to cook. Actually went on a, a brioche bun mission, and all I could find was bakery rolls. 
bakery buns, but I love these things, so I went with that instead. Toast that a little bit. Put it like that on the side because I want the, the sides to crust up also. Gotta wait for our fries now. Let those pull off right there. Get our halibut. Our tomato. Put our tomato. Onion. A little bit of lettuce. Some tartar sauce. I was gonna make my own tartar sauce, but I figured uh, I'll just buy it real quick since I was kind of close by. So, yeah, tartar sauce. The squeeze. Oh yeah, just like that. Sauce. All right, you guys, super epic day today, man. It was super freaking awesome. Uh, caught that halibut right on that surf on the shore, dude. He literally just went up to it, took it, and uh. It caught me off guard, dude. I did not think that I was gonna hook up to that halibut. But yeah, as soon as I saw that bait fish right there, I was like, all right, <clears throat> there's something chasing it. Could be a halibut. Uh, didn't really know, but yeah. We made a halibut uh, panko breaded burger with some fries. Got the beer. Can't forget the beer. And um, yeah, man, that's bone apple teeth, man. Shout out to uh, to this halibut for providing this beautiful meal. I mean, just look at, it. look at that thing. Oh my gosh, dude. And uh, yeah, let's take a bite and see how good it is. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, Jesus Christ, dude, that mango habanero halibut from last time was fire, but no way, this, this freaking just murks that freaking recipe, dude, oh, I'm so glad I made two. Mmm. Mmm. Bro. Holy cow, man. That is so delicious. Like, really good. I mean, what can I say, dude? Freshly caught, straight to the table. Doesn't get any better than that. And with some beer. And you know what? Today is St. Patrick's Day, so my luck is at a all-time high, dude. Literally, like, how lucky could I be today? Hell a bit lucky. Yeah, man. Fudge. Let's kill this thing, man. Alright, man. I'm, I'm serious. I'm like 100% dead serious. This is so good. Mmm. The crunch, the crunch of the lettuce, followed by the crunch of the onion, and then the cheese, 
tomato, everything just just blends so perfectly with this meal. Oh my god. A hundred out of a hundred, dude. For real. All right, you guys. So that's it for today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. The catch and cook. Um, it was a real good day of redemption, especially after what happened yesterday. You know, I was pretty bummed out, but hey, that's the name of the game. Like I always say, it ain't fishing if you're always catching. So yeah, got some more content coming out soon. I've been trying to get the boat out next time. So we'll see if we can catch some more fish. And uh, yeah, man, just really excited. Spring is tomorrow, March 19th. Warmer weather's coming and uh, means better fishing. So yeah, you guys, hope you guys like it. And um, yeah, so that, oh yeah, I also want to do that chill and fish uh, thing where we can all meet up and get you guys on some fish for your first time or if it's, you know, your expert or whatever your, your level of fishing is, you know, you're always welcome. But yeah, so, you know, just always have fun with it. We'll see you guys on the next time. Like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.